Hey guys, welcome to sweltering heat, about 100 degrees here in Munich. We're slightly north of the city at the BMW Test Car Allocation Center, and I've got a world premiere for you, a vehicle that you won't actually see the final version of until the LA International Auto Show, but we kind of talked BMW into giving us a sneak preview of the vehicle, plus uh, this the opportunity has been there for us to drive it. Now, it's still in development, but why is this vehicle significant? It's super significant because this will be the entry-level BMW for many people who want to get into the brand. They won't give us any information about price, and, and a lot of the information is limited and won't be available until they finish testing. I would take a guess that if you want to spend less than $35,000 to get into this vehicle, that might be possible uh, when final price is announced. So what can I tell you about the vehicle? First of all, there's some significant things on it. Uh, standard LED headlights and tail lights, a new kidney-shaped grille. Kidney-shaped grille is what we know BMWs to be all about. We recognize that design. But this one is a one-piece grill. Interesting, we've seen them in two-piece grills up till now. You can't really tell because this one is camoed up so much. There's actually only eight of these vehicles uh, on the road that they're testing. And I've driven it. I can tell you that driving dynamics are outstanding. They're everything a BMW should be. Uh, it does come as a standard all-wheel drive vehicle in the United States. It also uh, has a sort of an adaptive suspension as well. And those things contribute to an amazing drive, uh, something that I promise you, you'll be happy with. Love the sound of the exhaust as well. What else can we tell you about the car that's new and significant? All right, let's talk about wheels because not only are they an important design portion of a vehicle, but they're also the one part that connects you to the road. Uh, they'll come with 17 or 19 inch wheels on the new BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe, but there is a significant piece of new engineering here as well. This is the thinnest caliper that they've ever made, the most compact caliper that they've ever made. You've got 301 horsepower under the hood of the top engine, but that means you need a lot of stopping power. So the world debut of a new kind of caliper that is thin, sleek, and still stops you when you go racing. Now, I wanna show you something on the side of the car that shows this is a true prototype, and the fact is that they put it together by hand. So back here, it's really hard to see on camera, but you can see rivets in the side of the vehicle. And that really shows that this is a handmade vehicle. They put this together just to have a test vehicle, a test mule, as it were. Uh, this is definitely a prototype, which was hand assembled. But they also put a QR code on the side here, and that's because anybody sees this on the street, they can take a picture of the QR code and they can get more information about the brand new 2 Series uh, Grand Coupe. All right, let's take a look on the inside. Now this is kind of cool for no reason, but this is how I got to drive the car. Let me show you once I open the door. Well, you can see pretty much nothing on the inside. BMW have covered up the entire inside of the vehicle because they don't want you to see what the new 2 Series Grand Coupe is gonna look like. Uh, you can see the new M seats here, but the gauges, even the buttons, and the speedometer is covered. And the first place you'll get to see this interior is at the LA International Auto Show. All right, a few things at the back of the vehicle that it has. Of course, we talked about standard LED headlights and also tail lights here. The, uh, the connected tail lights have a piece that connects them all the way across the middle. It's kind of hard to see with all the camo on the outside, but what isn't super hard to see is the new tailpipe design. But this vehicle is going to be on the streets of North America uh, in the coming months. It's significant because it is going to be that entry level vehicle. We're expecting to see the brand new BMW 2 Series on the road sometime around March of 2020. At the BMW Test Facility just north of Munich, I'm Nick Miles.